We've got a full moon in the sign of Capricorn on June 21st, 2024, and it wants to bring you tangible results for all the hard work and effort that you've put in this year. Capricorn is an earth sign. It is most attuned to the material world. So you could very well see material results come into fruition at this time. Hi, I'm Bella. I use tropical Western astrology and the whole sign house system to interpret the stars and the movement of the planets to help you on your spiritual journey. And if you like what I have to say, give this video a like, make sure to subscribe to my page and hit that bell notification to stay updated every time I post. And if you love astrology, I also have an astrology app called Astro Bella that's available in the App Store and on Google Play where you can get your daily horoscope, your yearly horoscope, the description of all your planetary positions, and so many more astrological goodies. So check that out and let's dive right in. All right, so this moon is happening on the eve of the 21st at 9.08 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and it is happening at one degree in the sign of Capricorn. So check your birth chart to see if you have anything close to one degree of Capricorn within maybe five degrees of that degree. Check to see what house Capricorn rules because there will be a huge emphasis on that house for you, especially because we're having another full moon in the sign of Capricorn the following month. So there's gonna be a huge emphasis in that area of your life for the next month. And full moons are when things come into fruition. They're culmination points. They're a release of some sort or an ending of some sort or you seeing the results of previous actions. Now, we had a new moon in the sign of Capricorn in January, January 11th to be exact. So think about anything that you may have started during that time or intentions that you set during that time or seeds that you may have planted because you could start to see the results of that now. And Capricorn, like I said, is an earth sign. It's a very ambitious sign. It's a very hardworking, structured, and grounded sign. So the results that you see could be in regards to your ambitions, in regards to the hard work that you've been putting in towards your career, towards your aspirations, towards your public life, towards what you want to accomplish in the outside, in the material world. There's a huge emphasis on that. But the moon, the moon in particular, rules our emotions. The moon is connected to feeling, to our inner world, okay? And the moon actually does not do very well in the sign of Capricorn because Capricorn has the tendency to shove its emotions to the side in order to get the job done. Capricorn approaches emotions as hindrances, as something that stands in the way but it is cancer season. This full moon is happening the day after cancer season begins, the day after the summer solstice. So we have the sun in cancer at one degree directly opposing this moon. Then we have Mercury and Venus also in cancer. So there's been a huge shift of energy during the time of this full moon. We had all these planets that were just in Gemini and ha have moved into cancer. So the energy has gone from this chaotic, all over the place, fast thinking, fast speaking, multitasking, <laughs> very mental frazzled energy to this more, this softer, more intuitive, compassionate, emotional energy, okay? So it's really important to honor that side of ourselves as well in the pursuit of our dreams, in the pursuit of our goals. And this, there is a lesson to be learned under this full moon, and that is the lesson of balance. And that is the lesson of honoring our emotions. And in the pursuit of our goals and our outside ambitions in the outer world, we need to check in on the inner world and make sure that everything is in order within us. We need to make sure we're honoring our emotions, we're feeling our feelings because there's great power in our feelings. Our feelings have the ability to guide us. Our intuition could, could reveal deeper truths 
about what it is that we need to truly be happy and to truly be fulfilled in this lifetime. It's not just the material. It's not just what's on the outside. We need to check in on what's on the inside. Full moons are naturally a time of heightened emotions. They're, the energy of a full moon is very confrontational. It's like a face-off of the sun and the moon. But the moon is also facing off with Venus and Mercury, more so Venus because Mercury is a little bit further along. But the moon is opposing the sun in Cancer, Venus in Cancer. So there's this Cancerian energy that wants to face off with this Capricornian energy. And these signs are similar in a lot of ways. They're both very security oriented, but they approach that in a different way. Capricorn wants to focus more on, on outside, on the outside, on their public life, on what they're accomplishing out in the world. But Capricorn comes in and, and wants to, to put that in check and say, are you honoring what's going on on the inside? Are these accomplishments that you want to accomplish, are they honoring your emotions? Will they emotionally fulfill you as well? So your emotions can really confront you. And because the moon is in Capricorn, it can be a little bit uncomfortable to face our emotions at this time. But avoiding them will actually be even worse <laughs> because they could bubble up and come out at an inappropriate time later on if we don't honor them as, as we're feeling them. So this could be a very healing full moon, a time that we can feel to heal and to release the heavier emotions that come up and to make sure that what we're trying to accomplish is also aligned with our inner happiness and our inner life. But at the same time, we could very well see results and we can very well see how our hard work will pay off at this time. So it's an exciting time, but it's important to make sure that whatever results that we see are the ones that are the most emotionally fulfilling that satisfy us on a deep emotional level as well. Are we moving in the right direction when it comes to our outer world and our career? Is this what our soul wants? Is it aligned with our higher purpose, with our emotional needs? Can we create that balance between the inner and the outer world? And you're allowed to have an emotional reaction during this time. Maybe, maybe you will see something come into fruition that you've been working for for a really long time, especially something that you wanted to manifest at the beginning of the year when you set your New Year's resolutions because the new moon in Capricorn was in January, okay? So that was a time when a lot of us were thinking about the future and what we want to accomplish this year. This could be a time when you start to see those accomplishments come into fruition and, and manifest in the material world. Allow yourself to, to feel, to allow yourself to feel emotional, okay? Whether it's tears of joy, tears of sadness, whatever it is, allow yourself to have that emotional reaction right now. Honor your emotions. And this can also be in relation to relationships because Venus is opposing this moon and that is the sign of relationships. Maybe you've been working hard to manifest a partner. Maybe you get some clarity now on what you need to do to have a successful and serious committed relationship. Maybe you find that person or this could be an ending. Maybe you realize that the relationship you're in is not the right one for you. Full moons bring things to a head. They bring things to the surface. They bubble up. A resolution comes, a conclusion comes, a, or an ending or a release or cutting something out. This is, this is, the, this is the, the result of all of our actions, of our intentions, of our, of our feelings. We get... We reap what we sow with the full moon. We, we get the results. So something will, will materially show up for you, whether it's an ending in a relationship or taking a relationship to the next level or seeing the results of, of the effort that you've put into your relationship. Now, one more thing about this moon that isn't the greatest energy is that Neptune is in Pisces at 29 degrees. And although it's not in a cardinal sign, it's still squaring off the moon by degree. And a Neptune in a square can bring about a bit of confusion, okay? Bring about a bit of a mental fog or this uncertainty, okay? So this could be a very confusing full moon because you'll be feeling a lot and you may even get something that you really wanted, but you won't be 
crystal clear on what to do with it, on how to move forward. There could be this sense of uncertainty and, and not knowing, not seeing things clearly. Don't be too hard on yourself, okay? It's okay not to know. It's okay not to be sure. And it's okay to feel without understanding what these feelings are and what these feelings are trying to tell us. It's okay to just sit with the feelings. And what's revealed to us at that this time could be a little bit abstract. We could get our result, but we may not be sure what to do with the result, what the result means, how to continue acting upon this result. And, and we're gonna be focusing, wanting to focus on our long-term plans at this time and the future. But just keep doing what you're doing and just keep trying to find that balance between the outer and the inner world and trust that it's all gonna fall into place even if it doesn't make perfect sense at this time. Because funnily enough, we have another full moon in Capricorn next month. So this is our second chance to get it right if we don't get it right the first time. So whatever house Capricorn rules, there's gonna be that emphasis in that house for you where you're gonna see some results now, but you're gonna see some results in a month from now as well. And and the moon won't be squaring <laughs> Neptune next month. So you'll have a little bit more clarity next month. So keep doing what you're doing. Keep honoring your emotions. Keep working towards your goal goals and you know keep feeling gratitude for how much how far you've come keep your eye on the prize don't be afraid of hard work don't be afraid to put in the the, the effort needed and allow yourself to really enjoy the results that come to you right now okay this full moons are extroverted periods celebratory periods you're allowed to celebrate you're allowed to cry you're allowed to feel you're allowed to be around people who you love and, and celebrate with them so just use this energy, be aware of this energy. It might be fuzzy at the same time, but you will get your clarity soon enough. And the clarity will come from honoring your feelings, from honoring your inner world. It might not come right away, but the more you honor your emotional needs and your material needs together, the clarity you will attract the clarity to, to you in due time. So just trust and just keep doing what you're doing. Allow yourself to feel, do not be shamed of your emotions or try to push them to the side because they are a great tool for you right now. Your emotions can guide you and your intuition wants to guide you. The ruler of this full moon is Saturn and Saturn is sitting in Pisces, another emotional water sign, another intuitive sign. So your intuition can do so much for you right now and your intuition might not make logical sense your intuition might go against what your mind is telling you but it's your greatest tool at this time it's it's your greatest guide so listen to it and trust it and keep moving forward and now i'm going to go through each one of the zodiac signs and let you know how it's going to affect you personally now make sure you check your rising sign first because that will be directly correlated with the house that this full moon is happening for you in and then you can check your sun and your moon as well um, your sun would probably be more of an outer energy and your moon will be something that you're going to experience more internally but check all three and take whatever resonates all right let's get into it aries this full moon is happening in your 10th house of career and reputation so you can see results for your hard work that you've done in the past and this year in your career. This could be a promotion, a raise, um, an opportunity, recognition, an award, something in your career that you've worked hard for. And there is something about your home life and your family life that you need to balance in order to keep moving forward in your career make sure you're still honoring your the needs of your family and your emotional needs as you move forward in your career um do not forget about the little people at home as you're moving forward and you start to see the results for your actions and creating this balance in your life it may not be clear how you need to do so how you need to continue to keep the balance in order to have a healthy outer and inner life but it's really important for you to tap into your intuition at this time because your intuition can guide you and reveal a lot of truths. And if you keep working hard, you're gonna see more results in your career. 
because luckily you have two full moons in your career house back to back. So there's a huge emphasis on your accomplishments right now and your aspirations and what you're putting out into the world. So keep working hard, keep your eye on the prize because whatever you, whatever comes into fruition this month, that's going to be added to um, even more so next month. And this could even be a change or an ending of, of one career and shifting into another or shifting into a new role or just shifting into a new perspective about your career and about where you're moving. Just make sure to honor your emotions in the process and make sure that what you are looking to accomplish honors your emotional needs as well. Taurus, the full moon is happening in your ninth house of higher education, travel, and your beliefs. This is all about your evolution, your philosophy about life, your beliefs, and these things will be solidified now and be made more apparent to you. You'll be aligning with your true beliefs and the results of anything that you've done to better yourself are going to be coming to a head now. So this could be the the completion of an educational pursuit and you could start to see how the new things that you've learned are actually shaping who you are. You've put a lot of effort into your, your evolution and your growth as a person and you're gonna start to see how that is affecting you and, your, and the world around you, okay? You could see how a travel experience has shaped your thoughts about your reality, about yourself and you could even want to continue that and maybe you take on a new travel opportunity or you want to go back to school you want to continue to learn because there will be another full moon in your ninth house um, next month so even more results will come to your come your way in regards to what you've been doing to evolve as a person and your beliefs will be even more solidified the next month so continue doing what you're doing continue pursuing expansion and learning and spirituality philosophy anything that expands your mind at this time and you will get tangible results for for those efforts that you've put in things may be a little confusing this month because of that squared in neptune so you may be a little unclear about your beliefs but they will be solidified by the next month just keep doing what you're doing and keep pursuing what you're pursuing and align aligning yourself with higher truth and higher faith and doing whatever it takes to get to that whether it's reading or going back to school educating yourself or even taking on a new travel opportunity enjoy gemini the full moon is happening in your eighth house of psychological healing of intimacy and shared resources so there's a lot of stuff that could be buried deep within you that comes to the surface now um, and it it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing especially if you've been putting in a lot of effort towards healing yourself and healing the deep buried stuff within you and past traumas and working on letting go of all that heavier stuff this could be a time when you start to see the results of all the healing effort that you've been putting in this can also affect your intimacy with your partner you could have a very intimate experience at this time um, very healing intimate experience at this time really get to know someone on a deeper level get to know yourself on a deeper level this is just like <laughs> very deep time this could also be something for your partner um, them getting more money or earning more money but it affects you in turn so there's gonna be a huge emphasis on this eighth house and on this like deep stuff that's within you for the next month so continue to focus on your healing continue to seek out alternative methods of healing continue to allow whatever needs to come to the surface to come to the surface maybe there is going to be more buried stuff deep within you that arises and that can actually come through intimate experiences that can kind of bring up this deeper hidden stuff within you that needs to be looked at that needs to be cleared that needs to be examined so continue your continue your healing and you will see positive results for the work that you put in to dealing with the deep stuff that people don't want to look at don't be afraid to look at the dark stuff and, and the dark the dark parts of you because you can transmute them and become so much stronger 
Cancer, the full moon is happening in your seventh house of relationships, okay? So this could be the result of the efforts that you've been putting in towards bettering your relationship, towards finding a relationship, or this could even be the end of a relationship or the end of, of a behavior or attitude or perspective in a relationship. It's an end of a phase within your relationship. And it really depends on what has been going on with you, what you, how, how much work you've been doing on yourself, okay? Because it is also cancer season, so there's a huge emphasis on yourself and your person. You've got three planets in your sign during the time of this full moon, so you're you're shining, you're glowing, you're bettering yourself, and you're asking yourself harder questions about your relationship, relationships. If you're in one, you're going to be questioning whether this is the right relationship for you. If you're not in one, you're going to be making effort to better yourself so you can attract a better partner. And this can come into fruition now, especially if this has been a long-term goal for you to be in a healthy, successful relationship. So you will see results in regards to one-on-one -on -one relationships, especially love partnerships, uh, more emotional, intimate relationships. And make sure you honor your own emotions when it comes to your relationships and what you really want. You may have to ask yourself harder questions within your relationship, like is this emotionally fulfilling for me? Is this what I really want out of a relationship? And, and if you don't have that clarity this month, you will get it next month because there's gonna be a huge emphasis on that house of partnerships. So you're gonna see some results either this month or next month in regards to relationships. So ask yourself those harder questions. Don't be afraid of the answers because they will guide you to where you need to be if you honor your emotions and there could be a lot of changes going on in your relationships over the next month. So be ready for that. Leo, the full moon is happening in your sixth house of work and health and your routines. So this could be the result of your hard work towards finding the most optimal routine for yourself, okay? If you've been working hard to balance everything and to figure out what the, the healthiest routine is for how you get your work done, for your workouts, for your day-to-day, -day, that's gonna come into fruition now. And you're gonna see how, if you've been working hard on organizing your life and being more healthy you're gonna start to see how that affects you now and that's gonna motivate you to keep going to keep optimizing your health to keep optimizing your routine in order to balance your your mental and physical health because both are important and your emotional health you're finding the solutions now to create this harmony and this balance within your physical body, your mental health, but also to get your work done. You have your eye on the prize and you wanna get as much work done as possible while still maintaining your physical and mental health. And you're finding the solution for that now. And in the next month, you'll have even more clarity on what that routine is, what the most optimal routine is for you. And if you've been working hard, you can also see rewards at work from your work, uh, recognition, a promotion or anything of that sort but you're really getting your health in order during this time and for the next month so continue to focus on that and you will see positive results virgo the full moon is happening in your fifth house of love and creativity so this could be a romantic situation coming into fruition in your life especially if you've been focusing on manifesting that for a while now you could start to see that person come into your life or gain clarity on who that person is and this could be a very fun and romantic period for you and but which could actually lead to something serious as well because capricorn loves commitment and hard work in relationships so and you probably will be asking yourself harder questions like am i willing to put in the work for this person at the same time, this could also be an ending of some sort. If um, something has been toxic or unhealthy for you in regards to your love life, you could be doing away with that person or even that behavior or even that thing that has been standing in the way of you having fulfilling love. You could gain clarity on what you need to change in order to be more successful in your partnerships. And this could also be the results of a creative project that you've been working on. You could complete a creative project at this time, an artistic 
project or an artistic goal can be met, which will only motivate you to continue being creative because we have another full moon in your fifth house next month. So that, that could be more results of your creative pursuits the following month. Also your romantic pursuits, um, you will see even more results on uh, your love life in the next month. So there's a huge focus on your love life for the next month. So you'll see something come to a head this month in regards to your love life and something come to a head next month in regards to your love life. So make sure you're staying aware, focusing on your emotions and what is emotionally fulfilling for you and making sure that the person that you're with is fulfilling you emotionally and make, making sure that you're seeking to find that and not allowing people to mistreat you and to stand up for yourself when they do so that you can have emotionally fulfilling romantic experiences. So I wish you the best of luck with that. Libra, the full moon is happening in your fourth house of home and family. So there's gonna be a huge emphasis on your home and your family for the next month because there'll be another full moon in that house as well. So this could be the resolution of a conflict that you had with a family member you could be healing issues with family members at this time or healing your own issues that that you've had that your childhood or your past contributed to this is a very healing time you could become very aware of some deeper emotions some deeper buried emotions could come to the surface right now to be healed to be felt to be released you're really focusing on making your house feel more like a home and that could be thinking about moving as well, finding a new place to live or realizing where it is that you want to live, or you could be working on just making your home feel more like a home, beautifying your home. This could be the completion of a project within your home or finding the, the right home for you, aligning with with the home that suits you better and and healing whatever issues came from your early childhood and home life as well so there's a very uh, a focus on your inner world right now but also finding the balance with your inner and outer world and making sure that your aspirations and your career as well honor honor deeper emotional fulfillment for you as well and your emotions could confuse you at this time a little bit, but just even if they don't make sense or even if you don't understand why you're feeling what you're feeling, your healing is going to come from that feeling, even if the feeling doesn't make sense. So if you need to cry, if you need to journal and sit with yourself and just feel your emotions or write poetry or listen to music or do whatever it is that you need to do, just know that it's okay that it doesn't make sense right now. You are healing and you are going to become lighter and you're going to have much more clarity on whatever issue you're dealing with, this deep issue, next month. So just keep doing the work. Keep honoring yourself and keep loving yourself. Scorpio, the full moon is happening in your third house of communication and learning. So you can see the results of an educational pursuit right now. You can see the results of you, if you've learned a new skill, or taken a class, you can start to see how that affects you in your life and how that positively impacts your business. Um, your marketing, if you've been marketing yourself or marketing your business, you can start to see the results of that now. You can start to see the results of if you've been, any type of mental pursuit that you've taken on, you can start to see how that's affecting you now and how that, and that can bring you positive results in your career pursuits and your outer pursuits. And you're really going to be focusing on anything mental right now for the for this month and next month. So writing is favored right now. Um, this could be the completion of a writing project or the reward for your writing or, or positive feedback for your writing. And writing is very healing for you right now. OK, that writing is a way that you can express your deeper emotions and and with the square to Neptune, there could be this sense of confusion in the mind as well, but writing can actually help you find clarity, especially if you express yourself in a more abstract or uh, poetic way, in a very creative way. It's really, creativity right now is a very healing practice for you. Um, writing, using your mind in a creative way can actually help you understand your emotions better and actually honor your emotions better. 
and you're just you're finding the balance between everything that's going on in your mind with ultimate faith and aligning with that ultimate faith and honoring your emotions but at the same time going forth on your mental pursuits and your mental pursuits will reward you now and even more so next month so keep going with what you're doing keep expanding your mind keep learning keep educating yourself and you will see the results of that Sagittarius, the full moon is happening in your second house of finances. So there'll be a huge emphasis on money for the next month. And you can start to see your hard work and your efforts pay off in a financial way. You can see your bank account increase at this time, especially if you've been putting in a lot of hard work, if you've been learning about making money in new ways. It's important to embrace creative ways to make money at this time and you can gain some sort of illumination towards how to make more money in your life and the next full moon will bring even more results in regards to your finances so keep going keep doing what you're doing keep educating yourself on how to make money there could be a sense of confusion this month with what the steps are exactly but use your inner guidance and use your intuition to move forward even if it doesn't make logical sense you're allowed to do things your own way and things don't always have to make sense. You've been putting in the work and if you've been seeing the results, that means that you're doing something right, okay? Even if you're not sure how you did it, but you've been doing something right. If you're not seeing the financial results, that means that you should change your strategy and try something different, but the solutions will come to you and you may actually find the solutions through through your inner world, through connecting with your emotions and your intuition and, and allowing yourself to feel what you need to feel, then you'll gain more clarity on what it is that you need to do. But if the money is there, if the results are there, you're doing something right, so keep doing it. If it's not there, you will find it. Keep going. There's a huge focus on finances and the results for your efforts in that department are coming for you. So keep going. Capricorn, this is your full moon. It's happening in your first house of self. So this is a time for you to shine, to present yourself into the world and show the world how far you've come. Okay, this is a time when you can attract things in your life if you've been putting a lot of effort towards your career, towards relationships, towards your look, towards how you present yourself into the world. That could really come out in a big and bold way right now. You're gonna be feeling energized. You're gonna be feeling vibrant. The world is at your fingertips and there's a huge emphasis on the self, on doing what's best for you because we're having another full moon in your sign next month. So keep doing whatever is best for you and you're gonna see the results that you want. The answer for you comes from within yourself. So the work that you're doing on yourself, um, your focus on yourself, will result in you attracting the right partner, attracting the right job, attracting money. But you need to put yourself first at this time and you will see positive results when you put yourself first. You will attract a partner that is also putting them, themselves first, but loving themselves. That's what it is. That's what it's all about. It's all about self-love. The more you love yourself and the more you feed yourself, you'll attract someone that also loves themselves. So you'll have a healthier relationship. So it's about putting yourself first and your needs first and you will thrive. So allow yourself to shine big and bright on this full moon and enjoy. Aquarius, the full moon is happening in your 12th house of the subconscious. So you're gonna be dealing with a lot of deep and buried stuff within you. This could be a very healing time. You're gonna be feeling a lot. You could be getting a lot of spiritual insights at this time spiritual epiphanies this is a great time to meditate to connect with your inner world you could heal a lot you can clear a lot you're balancing your spiritual realizations with your physical world as well it's really important to honor the physical body and to stay grounded as you explore these spiritual pursuits um, to stay healthy to stay grounded to take care of your physical body while you're having these spiritual realizations and epiphanies because you could be focusing on healing a lot for the next month about healing your subconscious, dealing with things that are buried deep within you and clearing them out. And you will see the results of, of efforts that you've put in to your healing now and next month. These will, this will be a very spiritual time for you, but it's really important that you honor your physical existence as well. And, you're, and, and you continue to work hard and you continue to exercise and to take care of yourself and to eat healthy while you're going through this sort of 
spiritual clearing and release, okay? But you will become lighter if you focus on what's buried deep within your subconscious. You could clear a lot and you could become a lot lighter and you could become a lot stronger and just more spiritually secure and more in tune with your spiritual gifts and your psychic abilities. Those can come to the forefront too in the next month. So enjoy that, be easy on yourself, and don't forget to honor those deepest emotions within you and your intuition because it will be on fire. Pisces, the full moon will be happening in your 11th house of your friendships and your networks and your hopes, your dreams, and your wishes. So this could be the manifestation of something that you've really desired or something that you've really hoped for. You can start to see that come into fruition. This could be the results of the efforts that you've put into having strong friendships or a strong social circle or a social network. Um, you could see something even, it could even affect your social media. You could, you could, if you, you're a part of a community, whether it's online or in person, you could start, you, this is very celebratory energy and you could see how those efforts actually paying off to make your life better. But this can also be an ending of some sort in regards to your friendships. If there are certain friendships that don't serve your best interests or have been a little bit toxic, you could see the ending of that. And you could see the bonds with the right people in your life, with whatever community that, that you have in your life, you can see those strengthen and solidify. And if you've been really giving a lot of time and energy towards your social circles or community or group of any sort, that will benefit you now and and those things will strengthen and you'll want to continue to collaborate and work with others and you could feel very inspired to collaborate with others in order to make your dreams come true in order to to fulfill your soul's purpose but it's about connecting with your emotions as well and your intuition to guide you to let you know what people are are for you and what people are not for you and what what communities and groups you should be involved in that will make your life better and what types of groups and people are actually toxic for you that you need to cut out and then you could have some sort of wish fulfilled at this time too this month and the following month okay so stay focused stay focused on your 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 bigger purpose and your bigger intentions and you could have even more results in this area of your life next month so I wish you the best of luck. And that concludes your full moon video. Thank you so much for being here. I hope this resonated with you and I hope this helps you use this energy towards your advantage. Let me know in the comments down below if this helped you and what you're experiencing right now. I love to hear your feedback. And again, thank you so much for being here and I will see you guys in the next video.